Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of October 12th through the 19th, so this should cover your new moon. The new moon is on the 16th. We're just going to see what comes up for Aries during this time period. What do we have for Aries? October 12th through the 19th. What do we have for Aries? Quill, get back to the basics. Wheel, indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. That's why you need to get back to the basics. Sun, happiness, and well-being. Now, the sun is a card of new beginnings. Okay? So this is a week of new beginnings for you. Usually very bright, beautiful new beginnings. This is about just being yourself, being accepted, being in great health, healing. Uh, this is a breakthrough. The sun is a sign of a breakthrough. So... If your life has been rambling aimlessly, it's time to get back to the basics. And getting back to the basics is going to bring you happiness, okay? Um, your indecisiveness is stalling you from this happiness, okay? Um, so anyway, what do we have for Aries for the week of October 12th through the 19th? Healing energy. A, a very healing energy is what I feel. Oh my God, and that is a healing energy. This is uh, heaven. Okay, it's heaven. It's heaven. It's help from above. It's, it's protection, divine protection. It's help. Okay, help arriving. This is guidance. Um, this is a new purpose. This is a wish being granted. It's it's guaranteed success. So it's unexpected help arriving. Okay, some it's like after the tower falls, there's help arriving to help you heal. Okay, this is healing. This is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. This is some sort of protection. Um, a wish being granted in your favor this is a purpose everything happens for a reason ace of wands now this is a new life it is definitely a new beginning it's an exciting new beginning now this is very sudden um, a sudden spark a sudden desire a new passion a new a new drive a new vigor a new vibration uh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. This is a beautiful new beginning. So this is the beginning of a new cycle. It's the beginning of a new phase. Um, you're going to be shining. Okay. You are going to be shining. Everybody is going to see you. You're going to be glowing. You're going to be on top of the world. I just got to tell you, this is a week of you being perhaps in the spotlight even. You may be in the spotlight this week. Two of Swords. Now, the Two of Swords is blocking emotions, not seeing something, and a period of denial, needing to make some sort of choice or decision, needing to use your head and your heart. Use both. You may have some sort of divided loyalty. You may be having a tough time making a decision. There is an element of denial here. You really need to open your eyes and look deep. There's an opportunity for a lot of happiness, a lot of, uh, you know, to get your wishes or your dreams coming true, but you have to open your eyes to something. You can't live in a state of denial. There's something that you are missing because your eyes have been closed. You may be seeing, this is a vision. You may get this new vision this week. You may be able to see something more clearly, okay? Five of Cups. There's some sort of great sadness here. 
grieving, sadness, not realizing that there's an opportunity that for love or that there's another opportunity. You've been focusing on something that is heartbreaking. There's some sort of heartbreak here, sadness, self-loathing even. You may be self-loathing not realizing that you're missing something. You have been missing something. You've been missing an opportunity. Perhaps there's a new partner here for those of you that are single or whatnot. There is a new partner here that you have not been seeing. You've not you've not noticed it because you have been wearing some sort of blindfold or you've been protecting yourself or focusing on a loss. You've missed something. But I think you're going to see clearly this week. You're going to get some sort of clarity. Um, there is some sort of help that is guiding you to see. They're gonna, you're going to be shown something. It may have something to do with the Queen of Pentacles, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This Queen of Pentacles is a dream come true or something like that. Very valuable. Now, this is something that is manifested uh, the Queen of Pentacles is solid. She's stable. She's nurturing. She's a mother. Very, very caring. Very generous. She has something of value. So this Queen of Pentacles has something of value that um, you may have been hoping for. Because this is hoping. You may have been hoping for something stable or something secure. This Queen of Pentacles has it. Um... She's very nurturing. She's a natural. Now this Queen of Pentacles. Looks like she's holding something. She's holding on to her stability. She's holding on to her gift. So this person has a gift. This is a gift as well. So there's somebody here that is that has a gift. This gift can make them money. This person has a gift. This is something solid, something stable, something long-term. Long-term stability. Hmm. Queen of Cups. Now, there's double loyalty here, which I knew there was. Okay? So, there's you have to make it. You're, you're going to be, you're torn in two different directions, huh, Aries? You are. You're torn between this water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and this earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think that that's where your struggle has lied, right? Um, I think that, you know, this one is very emotional. Um, may take care of you in a loving manner. This could be a lover. Um... This one is more practical, more solid, more stable, more realistic. This one is more uh, fantasy. I just got to be honest. These two people are completely opposites. Complete opposites. This one is grounded. This one is fluid. This one is realistic. This one is an illusionist. This one, uh, work, 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 work. This one is more playful, more, uh, this one's laid back. This one's more wishy-washy. This one's more needy. This one's more independent, completely different people. And I think that you're going to have to make a choice. I think that you've been in a tough position, um, Now the nine of cups is about having it all. You may have somebody may have had it all, or they have it all with this person. This is a wish again, wish fulfillment, a wish being granted. You may have been asking for something, and your wish is going to be granted. Somebody's wish is being granted here with the star card and the nine of cups. This is deep satisfaction. You're going to be deeply satisfied in some way. You're going to be getting exactly what you asked for. And I feel like you're going to be recognized this week for something. Page of Pentacles reverse. Now the Page of Pentacles reverse is somebody that lacks integrity. 
Okay, can't apologize, doesn't doesn't have integrity, it's underneath this, could be an earth sign, could be the queen of cups. We have somebody here that is lazy for sure, very lazy, very selfish, very conceited, wants the money, but doesn't want to work for it. So I don't know who that is, this person is in your circle. Um... This person is selfish by the looks of things. I think you've got somebody around you that wants to have it all. This person wants to have it all. They want it all. They want it all. Okay, they want they want all the money or they want all the goods or they want it all. Okay, they, they want to be, you know, the one that gets it all. This person is very selfish, and I think that you know who they are. I think you know, but you've been in a state of denial. I feel like you've been avoiding the truth. You've been avoiding confrontation with this person by just giving them what they want. And I think it's made you really, 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 really sad. There's some sort of sadness here with that Five of Cups. That's grieving. That's mourning. Pity. You know, pity. Being in a state of pity. Self-loathing. But we got this new, new vision here with that Ace of Wands. That's a new vision. That's a new spark. It's all of a sudden. It's a new desire. It's, an, it's I see something. I think you're going to be seeing something differently. Now, with that page of pentacles reversed, it feels like something is coming to an end. There's, there's, there's dropping out of something. There's somebody here that lacks common sense, that is unhealthy, that this person, this person is, is, uh, overdoing it. So I don't know who you're dealing with. You may be dealing with somebody that is, is going overboard. You know, they're, they're trying to hide something from you. I think you've got somebody here that is trying to hide something from you. They're either going overboard or they're, or if they're not trying to hide anything, they're going overboard with their greed and that may spark a change. You know, there, there could be a, like a light bulb moment that uh, makes you realize, you know, who you're dealing with. You know, you may get some sort of light bulb moment this week. There is some sort of divine guidance here with that star card. Okay, that is a renewal. That is healing. Healing some sort of connection. There's going to be a tower moment because the star comes after a tower moment. This tower moment guides somebody in a new direction. So be prepared for that. Um, there's going to be, there's, it feels, I mean, when you get the two of pentacles in reverse, there's a financial loss of some sort. And I feel like there is some sort of financial loss with this two of pen, with the, with the two of pentacles reverse and the page of pentacles reverse. We have somebody here that is very arrogant, very selfish, very, uh, egotistical. It appears that it's a water sign. I don't, I don't know, maybe it's you, but it appears that it's a water sign that is very egotistical. It feels like this person is very extremely selfish. I feel like there's going to be a loss because of this person's uh, actions, okay? Um, you're caught in the middle. You are caught in the middle of these two people. That's what it looks like. You're caught in the middle. Um... Here we go. Now this is about making a choice. You're probably going to have to make a choice. You're probably thinking about a choice. This person is very manipulative. So you're dealing with somebody that will try to manipulate you. Emotional blackmail. So be careful. This person will try to make you feel guilty and try to make you feel bad to go on their side. So be aware of that. You are dealing with somebody that is very smooth talker that will talk with words of love and say all the right things to get you to listen to them. Okay, this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is somebody that is a very, very smooth talker. They say all the right words at all the right times. 
okay but there's lies okay there's deception so you really 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 make need to make sure that you are honoring your own truth do not let this person persuade persuade you to do something that is is not what your heart wants you to do okay because you're the one that has to reap the repercussions for what that person wants that person's greedy behavior so anyway, this is about this is about profit and loss and, and some sort of gain. You're going to be needing to make a choice, okay? You may be thinking about changing something because you get this sudden idea or this sudden decision, you get this sudden vision, you know, that makes you see something clearly. It's like this person, whoever you're dealing with is over the top with their greed. You got somebody here that is extremely selfish. All they care about is money. This person, all they care about is money, 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 and uh, things and materialism and stuff like that. And you may have been in denial over it. I think that you are about to see this person for who they are. Anyhow, I don't know whose message that is, but um, you may, interesting, I'm not going to say it. Anyway, two of pentacles. Um, yeah, it's like you've been ignoring you have been ignoring something. This is ignoring, this is ignoring, and this is ignoring. You've been ignoring something. Ignoring that there's a that there's a better opportunity. Why? Why? I don't know. Because you didn't want to let go of something? That's your indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. That's exactly what we got here. This week is a turning point. It's a turning point. It's where you go after your blessings. Okay, it is. This is a turning point. I know that it is. It's where you choose to see things clearly. This is like a sudden decision. It is. It's a sudden decision in some way. You're going to be making a spur of the moment decision. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is not putting in effort, not giving, something not working out. Not paying. Somebody may not be getting the money, not getting paid what they thought they were going to get paid. Something is not working hard. Somebody's not working hard enough. They're not putting in enough effort. Maybe it's you. Maybe you don't have any more desire to put in effort. Maybe because you got this new vision, it feels like you are going to be raising your vibration in some way. And it feels like you are stepping away from the materialistic person that is in your life. It feels like you're stepping away from this person. It feels like you're taking your power back. It feels like you are uh, finding your willpower and your determination and your discipline to... Uh, not give this person everything. You know what I mean? Because it feels like you've given them everything and they just take, 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 take. And you get to a point where you just can't do it anymore. So anyway, I feel like this week <laughs> you're standing in your power. It feels like you are pr you're just like pushing somebody away as well. It's almost like you're telling somebody, no, I'm not going to do that. It feels like this person has some sort of secret agenda. It's all very financially based. And you're like, no, I'm not going to do that. I, I don't know who this is for, but they this it feels like you got somebody here that is after your money. And they're scheming and they're up to something. And... I think that you're going to figure it out. I think that you're going to figure it out very, very fast. Something's going to happen all of a sudden that makes you see. Anyhow, that very first card is 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 the star card, which is a blessing. It's help arriving after the tower falls. So, so there's going to be a tower moment where 
somebody comes to help you. They're going to help you. Um, they're going to help you to uh, heal from whatever this is. You're, this is going to be a period of healing. You've got somebody here that is very realistic and practical that is going to guide you. This person is going to guide you and they're going to help you. Um, they're going to help you to see something. There's definitely a new exciting opportunity in which... Uh, this is gonna this is gonna be a big it's bright right it's a bright opportunity with the sun and the ace of wands this is exciting this is a new adventure it's a new life it's the beginning of a new life for you but I also feel there's sadness that comes with it because of this choice that you have to make you have to choose between the two there is a choice between two here this week, you're going to be making the choice. On the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. This is nothing stays the same. This is the end of a cycle. This is a completion. This is the wheel of life that is spinning. This is fate. This is a fated event that changes your story. This is the next chapter. The next chapter of your story is about to begin. But when the wheel spins, you're leaving something behind. This is a very prominent week for you. And I feel this is all about your health. It's about improving your health. It's getting back to the basics. It's getting back to optimal health. You are going to get back to optimal health. I see that. Your health is only going to improve from here. This person has been draining you, whoever this person is. Money hungry, selfish, greedy individual that has led you down the wrong path. Anyway, I feel as though you are going to be guided down a new path. I think you're going to be making a painful, stressful decision. Because that's what the Two of Swords is. Right in the middle. This painful, stressful decision, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. But I think something happens that you see clearly what you've ignored it's true it's like you just you just see it it's so clear that you made the wrong choice So anyway, I think you're going to be letting somebody go that uh, emotionally blackmailed you into doing something that you probably regret. But there's still a chance for love. In the future, you just have to focus on the future. This is an exciting opportunity to go down a new path. And I think that there is a new doorway that is opening for you. I do. It's a very positive change. Somebody is coming. Okay? Somebody is coming to help you. Trust me. Have faith. Believe it. This person will accept you. You won't have to prove yourself to this person. You won't have to put in all the effort. You won't have to do all the work.
you've been missing this opportunity dealing with this emotional blackmailer you're about to see the light clearly So this is a week of change. And you're going to need to have faith and trust this week. That everything happens for a reason. Because that is ex everything does happen for a reason. There's a, there is a loss here. There absolutely is. Because there's a choice between two and you can't have both. Good luck.